Hello students, now come to the first exercise of this chapter. The first exercise, first question says that look at the abacus and write the number. Here we have abacus right now. Okay, this is the uh, tools where small small beads are given in each every sticks and these sticks are placed like the first one is your ones, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand like this. Okay, now we have to write the numbers here in this place. So in one's place we have only one bead. So we will write one in stands we have three. In hundreds places one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will write in hundreds place six. In thousand one, two, that is two. In ten thousand it is one, two, three, four. Four. So the answer will be our four, two, six, three, one. And how we will separate as I told you in the first period, once period, we have only three place values. First one is our ones, then tens, then hundred. So ones, tens, hundred. Then the period changes to thousand. First period was once, then second period will be thousand. This is what thousand, ten thousand. So when the period changes, we put comma in between them. So this is the once period, once, ten, hundred, once period finished, then comes thousand period, that thousand, ten thousand. So we put comma in between the two periods. Now come to this place. Question number three. I left out question number two so that you can do it by yourself. Okay. Now come to question number three. Here in one's place we will see one, two, three, four, five. So we will write five. In stands place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we will write seven. Now in hundreds place one, two, three, four. So we will write four here. In thousand place one. In ten thousand place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we will write eight. And in lakhs place, we will write two bits two. Is that clear? Now, once again, I want to say that first three places, one, ten, hundred, these three places fall under one's period. Then thousand, ten thousand falls under thousand period. And then lakh, ten lakh falls under lakhs period. So in every period between the every periods, we used to put comma. So one, ten, hundred comma thousand ten thousand comma lakh so in this way we will put our commas and our number will be like this so i hope you have understood this one very nicely thank you